Here in Albums, we have an automatically generated People Smart Album. This used to be known as Faces, and the term Faces is still used when you're assigning faces to people, but now the album is just known as People. The People album works much like Faces did. We can add a name to a person, and then Photos is going to automatically locate other images that it believes that person is in. Currently, my People album has two favorites, Kate and Tessa. Below are the other people that I have named in this library. To make anyone a favorite, just click and drag them up to the favorite section. People can either be favorited or hidden. Click here to view those that have been hidden. To add more people, click the plus button here. This is going to display unassigned faces. Many of these faces are people that I already have in my People album, so I don't want to add them again. I just want to add new people from here. So I'll add Walker by clicking on his face and then the Add button. But Walker is actually in two photos that I see here. So if I hold down the Command key to select the other one, I can then click Merge and Add, and this is going to add both of these images to the collection for Walker. Double click on anyone in the People album and a memory like view comes up with the pictures this person is in. Click Show All to see every photo of Tate in a grid arrangement. Adjust the view from photos to just faces up here to zoom in on only the person's face in all the photos. Right or Control click on a photo here and we can assign it as the key photo. This will be the one that's visible in the People album view. At the bottom, Photos lets me know that Tate might be in some other photos in my library that don't have faces labeled yet. So I need to click on Confirm Additional Photos and select which of these are or are not Tate. We can also add a person's collection to the Memories album with a single click here. So starting from the People album and adding a new person or confirming more images with that person in them is one way to add images to the People album. Another is to start from the Photos view and confirm or add a person from there. This can be done from the Info panel. Notice here that the face in this photo has been located. When I mouse over this face, it displays a circle over the face in the image. This face has not been assigned to a person yet. So I could enter a name that's already been added to my library, or add a name of a new person here. This is Phil, so as I start typing, his name comes up automatically, and I can quickly add him. This photo will now be added to his collection in the People album. In some cases, photos might not be able to locate the face due to it being obscured or the person not facing the camera. Click the plus button here to manually add a face. The People album and assigning faces is another great way to keep your photo library organized and certain photos easy to locate.